and welcome back to the channel for yet another video and it is another new signing for Newport County. This one then is a midfielder Shane McGoughlin who has signed on a two year deal from Salford City. I'm going to, like I said, as I do with all of the um, new signings that we do, I will obviously read the article from the club and then give my overall thoughts on it and rate the transfer out of 10 in terms of value, what we're getting. Um, and am I happy with the signing, basically? So let's just read the Newport article. Shane McGoughlin joins Newport on two-year deal. Newport County received a midfield boost today after the signing of former Republic of Ireland youth international Shane McGoughlin, subject to EFL approval. McGoughlin, 26, joins Cochlin squad for the new League 2 campaign on a two-year deal from Salford City. Born in the Bronx, New York, his family moved to Ireland when he was five, before joining Ipswich Town as a scholar and young professional. After loan spells at Bromley, he moved to AFC Wimbledon in January 2019, where he started to make his mark on the senior stage, following 81 appearances for the Dons. He joined Morecambe in 2021, where he scored twice in 54 appearances for the League One side over an 18-month period. McGoughlin, who won international honours at under-16 and under-18, Level joined Salford City in the January transfer window and featured in the club's playoff semi final victory over Stockport County. His arrival at Rodney Prey comes as a welcome boost for the Newport boss, who explained Shane is another great addition to our squad. He's a great footballer and will bring good experience and expertise in that area of the pitch. We're very much looking forward to working with him as he shares the same hunger and desire as the rest of the team. McGoughlin was also delighted to secure the move. I spoke with a manager last week and he's explained that he want, what he wants out of me and what our ambitions are for the season. I think it's a great fit all around. I'm really excited and can't wait to get going. Now I'm in the building. Look, it's another midfield signing which I think is only going to strengthen our midfield area this season. So we've already signed Bryn Morris from Grimsby Town in the transfer window as a midfielder. Now, this is the second midfield signing of the summer. First of all, just key points to take from it. He has played at EFL level. Look, every time we make a signing, I like to see, have they played in this level before? Do they know the graft, the grind that it takes to win at League One, League Two level? Because League One, League Two are, you know, same sort of level. Um, you know, the bottom end of League One is, you know, basically the same as the top end of League Two. Um, so like I said, he's played for Wimbledon, 81 appearances for Wimbledon, Morecambe, 54 appearances for Morecambe, so over 100, 130 games for Wimbledon and Morecambe, both of those were in League One, so you know, he's played higher than the level that obviously we're at right now, um, and he did also play in the playoff semi-final um, game for Salford City against Stockport, where they actually beat uh, Stockport in that first leg at the Peninsula, but obviously lost in the second leg and lost out overall in that semi-final. In terms of my thoughts on it, look, it's another midfielder that I think we needed. Um, you know, we I, th I think we're a bit light in, in terms of the midfield area. I think it's definitely a sign in that is going to help both parties. You know, McGoughlin is only 26, so he's not obviously, you know, quite at the, the prime of his career, so there's still a bit of development there, which I think Cochrane will obviously be able to get out of him. We've seen what Cochrane has got out of, you know, academy players that we've got, and even, you know, players that we've signed under Graham Cochrane. Harry Charsley looks like a fantastic player. Nathan Wood, Kibben Wright, he's got, you know, some real development out of already in his short stint as Newport manager. Um, obviously, pro former Republic of Ireland youth international, that is the connection um, you know, when Cotland came in, a lot of people said we'll get former Mansfield, Bristol Rovers or, you know, Irish internationals. And that's what we've done with Shane McGoughlin. And he's already won, um, you know, honours, which I think is exactly what you want. You want someone who's already got the, the feeling of winning, got the taste of winning. Under 16 and under 18 level, he won international honours with uh, the Republic of Ireland. In terms of... My thoughts on this transfer, um, I like it. I think, like I said, it suits all parties. It suits the player, it suits Newport, um, and it also suits Graham Cochrane as well to have 
you know, an extra body in that midfield and also competitiveness for that role, which I think is exactly what McLaughlin will give. Um, or McLaughlin, McLaughlin, not McGock. Well, however I'm saying that, I'm probably saying it wrong anyway. Um, in terms of a rating out of 10, again, I'm, I think I give Bryn Morris a 6 or a 7. Um, I'm going to give this one the same. Obviously, he's a lot of experience already. Like I said, 130 plus games at League 1, League 2 level at the age of 26 is, is brilliant. And he's only going to improve at Newport. So yeah, I'm going to go with 7 out of 10 for this one. Shane McGoughlin, Salford City to Newport County. Done deal. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Newport, Shane.